Love Life Balance, kings and queens. I'm Cree, and you're now in my kitchen. Today, we're going to be cooking a scrumptious carrot cake, and I'm going to show you how. It's only three steps, which is the cake, the simple syrup, and the cream cheese frosted. Hey, let's get started. Okay, so over here, I'm going to go ahead and name out my ingredients, all right? Over here is two cups and a half of all-purpose flours, and now here's the two. Two teaspoons of baking soda, two teaspoons of baking powder, two teaspoons of cinnamon, four eggs, a cup and a half of white sugar, a cup and one-fourth, um, a cup and one-fourth of light oil so that's your canola oil or your vegetable oil do not i repeat do not use olive oil okay not for this recipe and you're going to need two cups of carrots so that should accumulate to about three to four medium sized carrots okay and we're going to use a teaspoon of vanilla all right, so let's go ahead and mix our dry up real quick, our dry ingredients up. So that's flour, you guys. Two cups and a half of flour. And this is my baking soda, two teaspoons of baking soda, two teaspoons of baking powder, two teaspoons of cinnamon, and we're gonna whisk this up real quick, okay? Make sure everything is all together, all together, mix very well. And it's gonna get a little noisy, okay? Cause I have to use my hand mixer, so. All right, so here you go. The flour is all mixed up. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add my sugar. I'm going to go ahead and mix my sugar up with this. And this cake is dense, you guys. So that's the reason why I'm going to do a simple syrup. Because um, traditional carrot cake, you some use... Um, Pineapple. So when they use the um the canned pineapple, they have that pineapple juice, you know, and they also use um dried raisins and they use walnuts in the traditional one. But I don't do mine all the way traditional because for one, I don't like raisins, and for two, I don't want um pineapple in my cake. Okay, so that's why I'm doing a simple syrup. Let me go ahead and crack these eggs. eggs for years honey so it's not gonna be any shells in my batter no no all right I'm going to add my vanilla that one teaspoon of vanilla I hope I'm not going too fast for those that do cook along with me um you know I always um do like a little grocery list. I'm putting this over here because I'm going to use the uh, vanilla for my simple syrup. But anyway, for those that do cook along with me, I hope I'm not cooking too fast because everyone knows I always send out a crease grocery list for things that you're supposed to buy at the grocery store. And you know my question, did you go to the grocery store yet? It's too late now. You're supposed to be in with today's grocery store. <laughs> Okay, so let me go ahead and add my carrots. I still got some sugar in here. Okay, there we go. All right, I'm going to whisk it up just a little tiny bit just to get it going. And then I'm going to use my hand mixer to finish it off, okay? So it's just going to get loud just a little bit. All right, let me add my oil. Let 
Remember, light oil, so that's canola oil and your vegetable oil. Please, I repeat, do not use light olive oil. No, no, no. Please don't do that. Ugh, yuck. Granola oil or vegetable oil, okay? Let me shake this out. All right. Again, the cake is going to be dinched, you guys, but that's fine. All right, I'm going to go ahead and mix it on up. I hope it's not too loud. You know, because when you're making love in the kitchen, sometimes it can get loud. <laughs> okay, I'm just mixing this batter up. Oh my gosh, you're gonna be like, I did that. And I'm gonna be like, I told you, I knew you could do it. I'm just bringing everything down and then making sure that all the dry is mixed up, okay? That's all that I'm doing. I still got some dry spots at the bottom that need to get done. So therefore, um, I'm going to have to bake my cake for at least 45 to 50 minutes. Now, if you're baking um, like a regular cake, a two-layer cake or a three-layer cake, then your time is going to be uh, between 40 to 45 minutes, okay? So while that is going, let's go ahead and spray our pan. Here's my butt pan. I use Baker's Joy, but you can go the old school way and grease your pan with the light, um, not olive oil. See, I was about to mess up. Told you not to use no olive oil, but we're gonna bet on um, all our pan with the light oil, which is the canola oil or your vegetable oil. And you'll get some flour and you know, you just tap the flour like that. That's the old school way. Basically, that's what this is in a can, okay? I'm gonna spray my... Pan down so it comes out. See, this is how it looks. So when it comes out, I just 
comes out so smooth. And this is how the mix should look, you guys. See? All mixed up. I can't read you guys' comments. I'm sorry if I'm not responding. I'm just double checking to make sure that all my dry ingredients is mixed well okay so let's go ahead now and put our cake oops don't slip in the pot It smells so good. Oh my goodness. Yes. And I'm getting every drop. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I love carrot cake. Like carrot cake is my one of my favorite cakes. Like you guys don't understand the love that I have for carrot cake. When I was younger, my aunt Emma, she used to make carrot cake. Oh my goodness. I know she still got that Midas touch. She talking about she don't know she haven't made a carrot cake in so long. I'm like, honey, it's just like riding a bike. You know how to make a carrot cake. <laughs> So the cake is still heating up, but you know I'm about to do some voila TV magic real quick. Cause guess what I got going on? Boom! Cake's already made. Okay. This one's still going in the oven. I will be freezing this cake until uh, for a later date. But while your cake is in a pan like this. You want to shake out your, um, your bubbles. You don't want no bubbles in your cake, okay? And it's not time to put it in there yet because it's still freezing. Okay, so let's go ahead on and do our simple syrup. So for the simple syrup, it's really simple. It's just half a cup of sugar, half a cup of water, and one teaspoon of vanilla. But I 
And basically we're just gonna cook this until the sugar has dissolved. Okay? Let me turn my my stove up higher. And just stir until it's dissolved, okay? I'm gonna let that heat get up here a little, a little higher. You know I had to do a little TV magic on you guys, cause I'm not, I wasn't about to let you guys wait 50, 50 minutes for a cake to cook, oh no. I'm like Martin Lawrence on that episode when, Cole, uh, when Tommy was like, well what about the umbilical cord, man? What about the umbilical cord? He said, man, this is TV. <laughs> All right, so let me go ahead and put this cake in. I'm just setting my cake for um, 50 minutes. Cause like I said, I'm, I'm using a bunt. Um, I'm using a bunt cake pan. So therefore it's going to need to cook, we need to bake for a little bit longer. And just like that, that simple syrup is done. The simple syrup is done. Okay, so while that cools off, you know I got to bring over the cream cheese frosting. That's like, other than the cake, the cream cheese frosting is like the star of it all. Bring my... Um, walnuts there. Okay, so for your cream cheese frosting, like I said, this recipe makes up a lot of frosting. I might not even be using all the frosting. However, you can put this in the refrigerator for another time. So, this is three cups of powdered sugar. We're going to use a cup and a half, which is one stick of butter. Okay? Let me get me a butter knife. This is softened butter, you guys. And it doesn't matter if it's salted or unsalted. However, I am using salted butter. Salted, softened butter. Just chopping it up and putting it in there. One thing about baking, you're going to get dirty, like... So if you one of those ones, oh, I don't want to get my hands dirty, honey. Bacon is not for you, nor is cooking. Because you're going to get dirty. Wash your hands and keep it pushing, honey. Okay. Okay, so that's my half a cup of butter, which is one stick. And, of course, you have to use the Philadelphia cream cheese. It's just something about Philadelphia cream cheese. It's just so good. Don't use no other cream cheese. I tried it. It don't work. No. Use Philadelphia. Philadelphia cream cheese. Approved. Creeks, Creeks Kitchen approved this message. <laughs> this is eight ounces. We're going to use the whole thing, okay? And make sure that you get the one that's in the box. Don't get the one that's like in the little container. That don't work neither for some reason. I don't know why. I just don't work. Okay, let me see if I can get this thing open. Again, I hope I'm not moving too fast for those that's cooking along. Chop this in. Oh, it's going to be so good. Alright, you guys, it's time to cream this 
butter with this sugar. Ooh, that's why I dropped too high. But it's all good. Like I said, you're gonna get messy. And it's okay. This is art at the end of the day. Cooking is art. And you know, there's no mistakes in art, especially if you're a chef. You know, you can make it do what it do. Okay. So basically, we're just creaming the butter and the cream cheese into the, um, the sugar. That's all we're doing. Turn it up some. That is all we're doing. It's coming together. not quite done yet you guys because I like my my cream cheese frosting to be kind of airy I'm just I had to stop it for a minute so I can push everything down okay now back to <laughs> back to work The longer you mix, the more fluffier and just more whipped your cream cheese frosting will be. The more whipped. I like mine's really whipped. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Again, I apologize for the noise, you guys. It's how it goes down in Creedy's kitchen. It gets noisy sometimes. I was going to do this ahead of time, but I'm like, no, let me go ahead and put this on live too so you guys can know how to do the cream cheese frosting. I'm not talking to my ones that's like, that's been in the kitchen and know how to cook. These, these um, tutorials that I'm doing is really for my amateurs, you know. They don't have that big sis or that, that big, that big lady to look up to. To help them cook, so that's why I started doing these tutorials, and to also show that you know vegetarians can eat very well. I'm not always vegetarian because I do eat seafood, but for the most part, most of my dishes is vegetarian. And we're almost done. We're almost done. Okay, let me show y'all how I, let me show y'all real quick. This is what I'm talking about. Look at that. Look, that's what I'm talking about. Mm. You know I had to. Sorry, I washed my hands now. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so good. 
It's too good, you guys. You know I had a sneaker, sneaker taste. It's only right. It's only fair. Okay, it's only fair. these walnuts. <laughs> oh, I trip myself out sometimes. Alright, so we're just gonna pop these walnuts up finally finally. This is how I do. I'm no expert. Just be careful, okay? As long as you don't chop your neck hand off or whatever you do, but I think you're good. Okay, chop it up real good, okay? Real fine. Try not to leave no chunky, no chunky ones. They say lift up, uh, oops. They say um, don't lift the knife while you're cutting, but sometimes, you know. Gotta lift that knife. You just gotta be careful. Okay, so we almost there, you guys. too too fast seems like I'm going fast I'm getting faster and faster every time I do these videos skills for those that's like oh my gosh that's not how you supposed to hold the knife as long as I don't cut myself I think I did a damn good job okay all right I think one 
one more a little choppy chop. And we are, I said one more, but then I kept on chopping. Look at that. <laughs> I just want it to be pretty rough. When I put it on cake, it would be nice and pretty. Alrighty. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do our simple syrup first. And you just take it. If you have a pastry brush, you're really going to need a pastry brush for this, okay? And we're just keeping this cake really moist, you know. Basically just painting it up there. You talking about a moist cake afterwards? Oh, yes. Yes. Very moist. Looking good, huh? It smells so good, you guys. Oh my gosh. Now, when you're getting your cake out the pan, before you flip it over, go ahead and moist the bottom part while it's in the pan. And then, when you flip it over, to take it out the pan, completely out the pan, and that's when you finish moistening it. Because I'm going to have to flip this, this cake over really quick so that I can get the bottom. See, when it comes out the butt pan, it's like this. But because I cooked this ahead of time, I didn't um do my simple syrup because I wanted to show you guys how I apply the simple syrup up there. You know, I didn't want to do too much off camera because it'd be like, what kind of tutorial is that? You ain't do nothing. Everything is already done. We ain't see nothing. We don't know if you said that's what you said to do and this and that. You know how people be. Well, she said that's how she did it, but I didn't see her do it, so I don't know. So, you know me, you always got to show and prove, honey. This is how you do it, okay? All right, and I'm gonna flip my cake back over. Boom, simple syrup applied, boom. Let me check on this cake here. Okay, it's coming along. All right, next up, we're gonna do our cream cheese frosting. <laughs> yes, let's apply this. Don't be stingy with that frosting. It's nothing like homemade. Oh my gosh. Learning how to cook homemade is so good. So much better than the store bought. And don't get it twisted. I have eaten the store bought um, carrot cake, but it's nothing like homemade. And to be all the way honest, we all, all the time, we, the real reason why we go out to eat and get store-bought stuff is just for the convenience, you know. Because there's nothing like home cook, nothing. Especially when somebody can cook, oh my gosh. Like me, get you a queen that can cook. And bake. And grill, because I can get on that grill too. My granddad taught me that. What's up, Papa Troy? And my auntie taught me how to grill, and my Uncle Moses too. Okay. My Aunt 
给你。Yes. All right, you guys. I'm almost done creaming my cake, putting this frosting on my cake. I wish I could read you guys' comments. I can't right now. Cause I'm at work. Working on this cake. It looks so good. Get that down here. All right, so my frosting is on. Look how I look. Nice. Okay, I told you I'm not going to use all this frosting. See, it's mad frosting left. Put that in the refrigerator. Okay, so next up, we're going to go ahead and do our walnuts. And basically, I just grab some in my hand like this, and then we go up with it. So we just pat it up. Pat it up, okay? And it's okay if some fall. We get it nice and pretty later. But basically, that's what you do. You pat it up like that. See? You grab some. And we go up. Okay? And that's all you're doing. That's why I say chop them. Chop it kind of finely. It's okay to have some chunky parts, but this is how I do it. Like that. And how most cake makers do, they do it just like that. So you go up, up with it. Oh my goodness, it looks so pretty. We almost done, you guys. That fast, oh my gosh. Let's go up. And we're almost finished. See? Let me just go up. Down and up. Down and up. Okay? And this is a cup of nuts chopped. One cup of walnuts chopped. Like at the bottom, but we'll get that straightened out very soon. Want to make sure that everything is covered. And put some on top, and then put some down here at the um, in your center. it you guys see you did it you did it we did it all right let me clean up real quick 
station really quick you guys because I got to stay clean in the kitchen I'm sorry I didn't look too much in the camera it off my board I just want to make sure I want to display this properly okay Give me a minute so I can display this properly because it needs to be shown off like why we did that. Yes. We did it. Look what we did. Call me crazy, but... I know that was a bold move. Don't do that at home. Kid, don't try that at home. But I just had to make sure that it's like presented right, you know? Look at that. Oh my goodness. See? Look what we did, you guys. It's only right that I can get a slice. Let's slice this thing. <coughs> Anime. <laughs> Let's cut it. You want some? Do you want some? Oh, look at that. Beautiful. guys it's so moist let's taste it this is my favorite cake too Woo! Mm. it's so good mm. that cream cheese frosting and the cake is so fluffy Okay, well, that's all for today's episode. Make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel, and that's Cree's Kitchen. Please subscribe, and do not forget to hit that notification bell. Also, follow Cree's Kitchen IG, that's C-R-I dot kitchen. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend, okay? Come back every other Sunday. I'll keep you posted. Peace.